simply any drink containing ethanol or ethyl alcohol is called alcoholic beverage but most of the potable alcoholic drinks like beer vodka wine brandy etc contain 0.55 to 76 percent of alcohol by volume those beverages which contain higher than 76 percent alcohol are used for medical or industrial purpose that we are not going to discuss today Hello friends, my name is Dr. Navin Chahal, welcome to you all on my YouTube channel. Today I would help you to understand the basic difference between different types of alcoholic beverages. Let's start with production method of alcohol. Alcoholic beverages are produced through the process of fermentation. In fermentation, action of yeast upon sugar solution break down the sugar into alcohol and carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide escapes into air and we are left with fermented beverage. That fermented beverage is what we call ethanol ethyl alcohol. Sugar can be obtained from the substances such as fruits, cereals, grains, molasses or other plant extract. Higher the amount of sugar in the substance used, higher the alcoholic percentage in the fermented beverage. Now, the fermented alcoholic beverages are classified broadly into two categories that is wine and beer. Within the United States, wine is referred as any fermented beverage obtained from any kind of fruit. But in European Union, the term wine referred to fermented beverage made from grapes only and the wine made from other fruits are called fruit wines and some of them are also named after the fruit it obtained from. Some examples of fruit wines are on your screen. The alcoholic percentage may vary roughly as low as 5% to as high as 23% alcohol by volume depending on the type of wine. If you want me to make a detailed video on wines, comment below. On the other hand, beer is prepared by fermentation of malted cereals such as corn, wheat, rye or barley. These are generally called fermented malt beverages. For beer, alcohol percentage is generally 5 to 6 percent but may go up to 15 percent in some of the regions. For obtaining the high percentage of alcohol, alcohol is separated from fermented alcoholic beverage by distillation method. Distillation can be done by two ways. The first method is pot still method, also called traditional method in which fermented alcoholic beverage is put in an enclosed container called still. Still is heated near about 175 degree Fahrenheit. At this temperature, the alcohol changes from liquid state to a gas state and start evaporating. But water solution left behind because water start evaporating at 212 degree Fahrenheit. The high alcohol content gas is channeled off and cooled so that it is condensed into a liquid again. This distilled liquid is called distilled spirit. The second method of distillation is called patent still method. It is the fastest, quickest method of making spirit that's why preferred for large production of spirits. It is also called by different names such as coffee still, factory still, column still. In this apparatus has two columns called analyzer and rectifier. Steam is passed from analyzer to rectifier. The analyzer vaporizes the alcohol from the hot wash. The rising vaporized alcohol proceeds to the rectifier column where they cool down with the cold wash. After cold wash, once again we get liquid solution but with increased strength of alcohol. So, distilled spirits contain more alcohol than any other potable alcoholic beverage and its products normally range from 40 to 70 percent alcohol by volume. Distilled beverages of spirits are rum made from sugarcane juice or molasses, gin that is a combination of alcohol, water and various flavors, brandy from fruit juices, tequila from the sap of blue agave plant, whiskey from the cereals of corn, rye and barley, vodka that is obtained from the mass of grains or from any starch containing raw material for example potatoes, sugar, beet, peas can be used in mixture with cereals. There is also a third category of alcoholic beverages called compounded beverages. These are made by combining either a fermented beverage or spirit with added sugar and flavoring substances. For flavors, one can use derivatives from fruits, herbs or nuts. Flavored and sweetened spirits are called liquors and most liquors ranges from 15% to 55% alcohol by volume. Well, here is the summary of classification of alcoholic beverages. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button and if you have any doubt or suggestion, comment below. 
Do subscribe and hit bell icon to receive the notification.